County has completed a stormwater utility feasibility study to explore a different option for funding the stormwater program. Currently, property owners pay a stormwater tax based on their property's real estate assessment. It's called a sanitary district tax. For an average homeowner, the current tax is about $130 per year. The county is considering changing to a stormwater utility fee, which is a fee based on the amount of impervious area on your property. Impervious area is a hard surface that doesn't allow water to soak into the ground, like a driveway, a roof, or a parking lot. Impervious area is a better measure of a property's use of the stormwater system than the property assessment. Because impervious area is a better measure of the use of the storm system, a stormwater utility is a fair way to pay for the stormwater program. Properties that have more hard surfaces that generate more runoff would pay a higher fee under a stormwater utility. A storm water that comes the stormwater utility would support the same stormwater program components as the sanitary district tax, such as maintenance of hundreds of miles of storm sewer pipe, thousands of storm drains and culverts and other infrastructure, funding to increase the storm system capacity and reduce flood risk, water quality and regulatory programs, green infrastructure and stream resilience projects. We're here at the Cardinal School Stormwater Vault. It's the first project to be constructed as part of the Flood Resilient Arlington Initiative. Uh, when completed, this will be able to hold uh, the equivalent of six Olympic-sized swimming pools of water. And it's an example of a stormwater management facility that the new Stormwater Utility Fund uh, would help to finance. As the county board considers next steps on the stormwater utility, we're looking for your feedback on possible rate structures for the utility fee and the credit program. There will be several opportunities to learn more about the stormwater utility and provide feedback. The county will share a feedback form in June to get your input and there will be an open house on July 17th at the Lumber Run Community Center. Please go to the website to learn more.